Uh, what we're looking for with networking is because it's never been a better time to look to network with people. Uh, everybody's in the same boat. We're all stuck at home. We're all looking for content and we're all looking for people to uh, commiserate with, to be honest with you. So um, it's never been a better time to be a better if you're looking to network. Um, nobody's distracted. Nobody is trying to sell you picks. Uh, and nobody's too busy getting their bets down for tonight's game. Um, and nobody's trying to impress you with their short-term knowledge. Uh, you can really kind of feel people out. Uh, I get DMs all the time on Twitter of people that are saying, hey, Jack, take uh, this team tonight. It's a guaranteed lock. And I know what they're doing. They want me to kind of look and, and acknowledge that, oh, yeah, you won that play. Or, oh, look at that. You, you gave me two winners in a row. I want to be your friend. Um, that's not how you win friends and influence people. Uh, I'm more attracted to people that are willing to kind of uh, share some of their knowledge with me and I share knowledge back with them and, and we create a, a, a synergy and a repertoire between us. Because um, right now we're all pretty lonely and uh, we're all looking for something to do and it's a good time to kind of meet people. Um, now also at the same time, you know, this has to be a two-way street. So you can't just uh, try to DM, you know, Rufus and uh, say, hey, Rufus, explain to me how your golf model works. Uh, he's not going to tell you. Um, so it's, you, you have to be willing to kind of, uh, you know, discuss things. And you don't need to reach out to just Rufus. There's plenty of other people out there that are uh, intelligent that maybe don't have the profile of, of someone like him. And uh, now's a good time to kind of seek those people out. And when you see someone making an intelligent contribution, um, maybe reach out and say, hey, that was a good point. Well, you want to talk more about this. Uh, and at the same time, it's also a good time to get noticed. So if you're someone who feels like you have things to say and uh, resources that you can add to the world, uh, but you just haven't been able to be noticed by anyone, uh, you have a small following or something like that, now's a good time to get noticed because uh, you're going to stick out. There's less, there's less uh, noise in terms of games being on and people tossing around picks on their various games. Um, it's also a good time to do something that's outside of your comfort zone. So this, for instance, is uh, outside of my comfort zone. I, am, uh, I signed up for this account on Zoom um, because I figured this is a good way to try to get content out there. Uh, those of you who know me know that for the last year I've been working on some various content products, projects, and uh, they haven't really gone as well as I'd like. I'm probably too much a perfectionist when it comes to editing. And uh, so I haven't put up some of the content that I've prepared, but I felt the need was, you know, let's just get out there, do a live broadcast and uh, get people some information that they can use, kind of stir the pot up, stimulate some minds. And, and that's what I did. Uh, but there's other things beyond Zoom and YouTube. There's uh, things like Discord, where you can create a, a small group of people that you want to share a chat with or Slack. Um, the various work group meeting type of software out there. And uh, now is probably a good time to use them. Um, they're very popular. You can find a lot of advice now on which ones are better, which ones you know, have deals going on based on the climate we're in uh, to make them more appetizing. Um, but you can do things like uh, host a virtual happy hour. You know, uh, we're all stuck inside. Uh, you know, tell people to grab a beverage and uh, jump on this uh, meeting room and we can all talk about what we're doing and, and how we're getting through it. So, um, you know, it's interesting times and it's, a, and it's an interesting way to kind of change the way you approach uh, the downtime you've been given. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on to the Q&A section.